Let's do this. Time to unbox this crafty haul. This is my hubby craft order that I made from the sale. Okay, let's see what we've got. So first off, I've got lots of packaging. One, two, three. Whoa, okay. All right, so. Basically, you have a box of packaging and then a few items. Wow, oh my gosh. Look at this. Guys, I told you all before, I'm really bad with reading sizes. And this is definitely something that came out way bigger than I anticipated. It's, it's big, it's massive, look at it. Oh my gosh, I think I got this for... One pound, one pound fifty. Oh gosh, that's going to look so nice spray painted. I'm just thinking Alice in Wonderland all the time recently. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, and look at how beautiful this box is. I really love this design. So vintage and beautiful. Then I've got these little wooden hearts and yeah for this order I've got a few different items that I have never usually bought um, from any craft place really so this is Anita's um, collection I haven't seen her collection before but I saw a few things scattered around Hobbycraft and they were from her and I just really really loved this they were for Mother's Day so they weren't reduced though they weren't reduced I think this was um, £1.50. Well, this is meant to be for decoupage, but I really don't know if I'm going to use it for that. And you can make it 3D, so you kind of like put, um, you put this down first, or this one here, and then you put a little bit of foam sticker, and then you put that one on top of it, and it gives it like, it's like a popping out, like a 3D sort of effect. And again, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it like that, but I just, I just really love this design. It's, it's sort of like the thing that I just made recently with the fairy inside the moss terrarium. So that's why I love that. And then I bought another set. I don't know, are these stickers? I have no idea. I don't know, it just says full decoupage. If you guys have bought something like this before, are they stickers? No, I don't think they are. I think they're just card. I have no idea. Anyhow, this again was Mother's Day. I just wish that this was reduced because obviously Mother's Day has gone and I did expect it to sort of be reduced, but again, you know, it wasn't too pricey and I just think it's beautiful. And then I bought a, another sticker book and again, usually I don't buy this sort of stuff, but I'm really liking adding them to wires and I've got quite a few other ideas with them and because it's going to be summer I thought this will be really nice I actually used to collect stickers when I was younger I still got all of the albums full of the stickers believe it or not I'm quite sentimental and I really take care of the things that I buy so I've got things from when I was like four years old yeah I think this is such a nice collection so cute through sunshine and rain. I think that's so cute. And let's see what else we've got. I brought this and this was reduced. So it's mini resin. I wish that they did things like this all year round. Like on Hobbycraft. I can't find resin figures or figurines that much at all. Um, and it's, it tends to be like when Christmas comes out you'll find a few. Like angels and stuff like that. And then this was because of Easter. But I wish that they just had, you know, a collection where you can just buy them because these are really nice for like fairy gardens and my terrariums and, you know, mini gardens and stuff like that. And then I bought this Easter wheel. So this was reduced. It's like a stencil um, and you've got all of these designs here. Oh, well, that's really, really pretty. And it was quite cheap. Um, 
again I'm not sure about the pricing but I'm sure that that was maybe 50p and then you know how much I love terrariums and plants so I had to get this it's just really really beautiful I absolutely love the design even um, let's have a look inside Ah, oh, that's just stunning really really love it look at all of the detailing the gold it's actually rose gold which I absolutely love oh, I love rose gold so then it repeats the same design I think just twice maybe nope we've got three there and you've got some other ones there I don't know if I'm going to use this in a craft I don't know to be honest I don't really think of sometimes I don't think of my project and I just buy stuff and then I'm like oh that would be really really nice in my project so you might see it you might not but you know what <laughs> if I don't use it for a craft it's just gonna stay like this like a book that's what I do. Alright, I've just got all of the items out of the box to make it a little bit easier and put my camera on the tripod. So then I've also brought these flowers and these are always nice. I've actually used these things for a lot of my crafts, my wooden scenery and fairy gardens and all of that kind of stuff. And this was, I think, in the wedding section. I'm not too sure. But yeah, that's pretty, I think. I brought another one of these because it was reduced. And I was thinking that way I can leave the one that I used on the actual birdhouse that I made. Because I put it there temporary, thinking that I've only got one of them and I might need to use them for something else. But now I can actually leave it there, so I'm quite happy with that. I've got the invoice so I will show you all how much everything costs towards the end of the video and then these are so nice and cute they are reduced as well they're from the spring collection and they're wooden daffodil toppers I think that they're just so pretty then I've got this little box that was a bit bigger than it is but again that's just down to my own fault And then I have some foam stickers. These are of course for Christmas time. I think they must have been reduced. And then I've got this small figurine or figure and it's a little chick with a little egg like on his head. And I got these. I've never seen these before or anything like it. So I really like this because it's really nice for Mother's Day. I thought it's perfect and quite beautiful. So it's got you're the best there. And then I love you. And then just some flowers. And then I have an egg. Paper mache egg. I thought it would be really nice if I wanted to just do some egg decorating for next year or maybe another version of the Fabergé egg, we'll see. And then here I have another rabbit figurine. Again, reduced. And then this was also reduced. Happy Easter, it's a wooden sign. I've already got something in mind for this, so <laughs> we'll have to wait for next year. Then there were these wooden blanks, and they were butterflies, there was eggs, all the things that I brought prior to Easter from Hobbycraft, and I did a haul on that, and I also showed you guys that in the sale Hobbycraft video. But I didn't order them despite them being like half price and so cheap. I was really tempted to do that, but because there's 30 in a pack, I just thought it's going to last me so long, but I bought the flowers because I hadn't bought those and I was debating whether to buy them previously and now I was just like, well, they're half price, so I have no excuse not to buy it, right? So I bought those decorative eggs. And these are glitter. And then I brought this wreath. I kind of really want to make a spring wreath. I hope I've still got some time. It's a medium size. It's not the smallest I've seen. I think it might have a sizing here. 8 inch wreath. 
Then I've got some um, styrofoam bunnies and they're all white. So you can paint them, decorate them, spray paint them however you like. What is this? I can't even remember. A shopping bag. Oh yeah. Um, I was thinking that this would be quite a nice thing to do for Mother's Day. To decorate a shopping bag or write mum or have some kind of floral print on there. Then I've got these frames. It looks like one frame here but it's not. So there's like these heart frames. If I move it down you'll see. So I think there's three of each one. And again, I thought this might be something nice for Mother's Day or Valentine's. It's uh, three heart glitter frames and then a smaller print frame here with little hearts around it. Oh, someone's ears have come off. Who's that? Who does that belong to? That's strange. I've only got him and that's not his ears, that's for sure. I don't know, am I missing something? Oh, okay. So there's a the damage. That's just broken. Yeah, this is how it would have looked. So, another styrofoam bunny, but this one's standing up. They're really nice. I mean, that's, that's already like it's been chalk painted. It's a ceramic bunny and it's just so nice. I got this as well, I bought these before, but because I used them in the Mother's Day craft, I'm needing a few more. I did actually need more than one, but I just didn't want to spend too, too much. And then I think this is the last thing here. I've got some foam stickers for the winter selection and these are glittery. So now I'll go through some of the prices. Okay, so this succulent book was only one pound. That's so good. And then these here were 50p. The Sunshine Rain book was one pound. And then 50p for the Snowflake stickers and then the flower garden stickers so this here was one pound and then this was one pound here the wreath was just two pounds and then this bird decoration was one pound the cotton um, canvas bag was one pound the heart set, so this here, was £1.50, so I wouldn't really advise buying this. It's quite expensive and they are small. And then the Anita's collection was £1.25. These were actually £1 here. And then the other Anita collection for Mother's Day was one pound twenty five and and then this little box here was one pound twenty the frames here seventy five p okay I thought I bought everything under two pounds but here three pounds three pounds for this big floral box so I forgot about that. Two pounds for these flowers. And then one pound fifty, which was half price for these. And then the stencil, this here, was for one pound. And then I've got this here. This was one pound for the sign. And then the glitter eggs were a pound as well. And then the big styrofoam bunny was two pounds here. So this was just two pounds. And then the paper mache egg was 50p. All of these resin figures 
were one pound each. And what's next? The ceramic bunny was just a pound. I think that's really, really nice. Good deal. The styrofoam bunnies, the six pack ones, they were for a pound. I mean, you'd probably find these in Poundland. The styrofoam bunny that came broken without its ears, poor thing, is 50p. So that's everything for this haul. I hope that you have enjoyed it and that you stick around to see what I'm going to be making with all of the things I brought. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notifications so that you know every single time one of my videos come out and you don't miss it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. It really helps me along my way and I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. See you in the next crafty video. Bye.